Are women in India any safer? It's a case that shook the maximum city. A journalist gang raped in the heart of Mumbai, an incident which also opened up a Pandora's box. As five rapists were convicted today for two rapes in the city Shakti Mills compound, the Maharashtra government immediately claimed it was done in the quickest time span. But what about the thousands of other cases pending across the country? Two gang rapes, which forced the financial capital out of slumber. Three serial rapists who chose to commit the heinous crime of raping two women at the same place in a span of a month. After seven months, the Mumbai Sessions Court holding five men guilty of gang raping a photojournalist and a call centre operator in Shakti Mills compound in Mumbai. Today, after five months of day-to-day -day trial that resulted in the conviction of all the five accused in the Shakti Mills gang rape case, attracting a maximum punishment for life, the investigators as well as the Maharashtra government are hoping hard that this conviction serves as an example and turns into a deterrent for those who are likely to indulge in such crimes in the future. While the five accused have been convicted and their fate will be sealed on Friday, the future of two juveniles, who were also partners in crime, remains undecided. The minimum sentence for gang rape is 20 years and the maximum is till life imprisonment, till the remainder of their personal life. Just minutes after the verdict, the Maharashtra Home Minister, who was present inside the court, terming it one of the fastest trials. <laughs> रोज सुनावनी करके बहुत कम समय में आज जजमेंट भी आया है मुंबई शहर महिलाओं के लिए पूरे देश में एक सबसे सुरक्षित शहर माना जाता है बट डिस्पाइट द स्पीडी ट्रायल द फंडामेंटल इशू ऑफ द सेफ्टी ऑफ वुमेन रिमेंस एट स्टेटस क्वो इस बात पर बहुत चिंतित हैं कि जिस हद तक रेप केसेस बढ़ रहे हैं कन्विक्शन रेट बहुत लो है हिंदुस्तान में। If this interest would have shown earlier, then this incident could have been averted. The two cases had forced a rethink for a city that has, for years, prided itself as being safe and progressive. Some might perceive the court's judgment as a closure for the two survivors. But what about the thousands of other cases which are pending? Bureau report, Times Now.